breaking news at 11. We alerted you tonight with a WPTV push alert. A mother killed her daughter in the hospital after a shooting in West Palm Beach. Now police are looking for the shooter. Let's go live to News Channel 5's Megan McRoberts outside the home on 3rd Street where that happened. Megan Today, we're going to be looking at the case of convicted murderer Marlon Joseph. Marlon Joseph and Collada Crowell stayed at a residence in West Palm Beach, Florida, with multiple other family members, including their children. Crowell was the girlfriend of Joseph's mother, Robin Denson, and stayed at the residence with her and her daughter, Kyra. On December 28, 2017, Joseph got in a heated argument with Crowell over Kyra's attitude. Joseph and Crowell argued about the fact that Kyra had a bad attitude and was not getting along with the other children who lived in the home, according to an arrest report. Joseph also confronted Denson, his mom, to complain that his eight-year-old daughter was being mistreated by Kyra. After a few heated words, Denson walked outside the house at about 7.10 p.m. That's when Joseph reportedly walked out of a bedroom he shared with his younger brother, Patrick Joseph. Within seconds, there was a gunshot. Patrick Joseph said he went to investigate and that's when he found Crowell shot and wounded on the floor, begging him to call the police. Patrick Joseph said he then ran outside to find another brother wrestling with Marlon Joseph on the ground. The other brother, Parisa Joseph, who was older than his other brothers, told investigators that he heard shots ring out from inside the home and then saw Marlon Joseph run out behind Kyra. Parise Joseph said he watched as Marlon Joseph's arm was outstretched, holding a pistol and firing at the girl. A fourth brother, Cardarius Joseph, the youngest sibling, said he also heard the gunfire from the home and watched Kyra get gunned down. He then observed Parise Joseph tackle Marlon to prevent him from fleeing, according to the police report. Kadarius told detectives that Marlon Joseph got up, ran back inside the house where there were two more gunshots, and then his brother came back out, jumped into Crowell's car, and left the scene. My justice for my girlfriend and her daughter. He's my son and I love him, but I also love them too. Robin Denson spoke directly to her son, Marlon Joseph, Monday afternoon. Marlon, if you're watching, son, just please turn yourself in. I love you, you know I'm always gonna love you. I'm gonna be there for you, Marlon. I just told my family, until Marlon turned himself in, I would not, I would not eat, I'm not gonna eat. Joseph is wanted for the murders of Collada Crowell and Kyra England. Denson was there outside the home she shared with both victims when the deadly shots were fired Thursday night. I just don't know what went wrong. That's all. The day after the double murder, a security camera caught Joseph withdrawing money from a Chase Bank in West Palm Beach, Florida. Federal agents did not know it at the time, but that piece of evidence would later lead them right to Joseph. For five days, they tracked the activity on Joseph's credit card, and on Tuesday morning, they got a hit. On January 2nd at 9.30 a.m., investigators learned Joseph's credit card was being used in Lake Worth. Then an hour later, the bank reported someone was using the card live at a gas station in Montana. Federal agents swarmed the place and found Joseph's cousin, Javari Williams. Williams denied using the credit card or even knowing where Joseph might be or even having knowledge about the murders. It turns out, however, after further police investigation that Williams had been hiding Joseph and helping him out. Upon searching William's house, the police find Joseph, apprehend him, and take him into custody. Joseph Marlin was recently convicted of the double murders of Collada Crowell and Kyra Inglet 